Hello and welcome to week 10 on the Fiber Craft Server. I feel like I've been walking down this path for many of the intros, but I'm actually coming down here to go to the land right over here, which hasn't quite been decorated yet in terms of detailing. Yeah, as you can see over in these other areas, I've put in moss, put in some carpets, coarse dirt around the path. We've got stones, bushes, flowers, grass, even trees in some spots and some other decor lying around. And there's just a few spots around this area that I haven't quite got into yet. And I've marked a little bit out with these bone blocks going along this edge. Yeah, and if you remember this map from probably episode 8, you can really see what I still have left to do. And yeah, there's the bone blocks I have along the outside. And we've got this section right here going all the way over to the coastline, by the way. And we've got this section back here going all the way back to the moss farm. And over here, I would like to do a bit on this side of the path here and on this side of the river. Maybe just a little bit over here. I don't know how much of this I'm going to do this week. But my goal is to at least finish this side this week. And I thought it would be cool to do this in some form of a time lapse. Because I haven't time lapsed any of it in the past. So why don't I get straight to it and see how much of this I can get done this week. Yeah, and fast forward to the end of the week, and I have expanded the map so you can see the whole thing, and you can see this side of the path all the way up to the end of the path that leads up to the moss farm has been fully detailed, and I extended the tree line a little closer so that I didn't have to do quite as much work, and especially on the like steep mountain, because that's very difficult. I haven't done this section yet. It's the only part that I wanted to do this week that I didn't get to. That's because I'm not quite sure what I want to do because it'll be a transition from the style we have going on in this area to the style of the moss farm with the oak and azalea as opposed to spruce leaves and wood and the moss. Yeah, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do in this little gap, but yeah, look at that. We've got that whole hillside going all the way around complete, and it's looking fantastic. I did a little bit more on the coastline down here. Yeah, I just, I'm really starting to love this area, and it now that it's got a little more surrounding area, it's starting to feel a little bit more immersive. And while we're over here, let me show you. But speed has begun. Yeah, right in here is speed's new project. And you might have guessed that is going to be brewing. And right here is the shop for it. We've got all the, some of the various potions, a couple of extra things to sell. We, we make our way over 
where this beacon base has been laid out and ignore the beautiful source of the waterfall. We come back right here. We've got the start to the brewery and it's looking pretty good. Got a nice layout, got a little bit of a crossroads going and we've got a couple of brewers set up. I don't quite know how these work, um, but they're just brewing various different potions and we have some big plans for this. I don't know how much I'm going to work on it in particular, but it should be a really cool project once it's done. And our goal is to take this whole section of land and make it into the brewery. And we'll see how that goes. Now, if you remember last time, there was this station right over here and We've got a little building up at the top now telling you that there's a station here and the path goes right to it and we can go down. I don't think too much has changed on the inside here, but yeah, the building up top is starting to look really nice. I'm starting to really love this build and it's just bringing my building level to a new high and I am really satisfied with what I've been doing so far on the server. And moving swiftly on to Heroes Base. Let's check out right inside the starter house. And it looks like the storage area is getting a little bit of an upgrade. Getting some infrastructure in here and some more organization with some item frames telling you what's inside. We've got wheat related items, sugarcane paper, all of the rest of the crops in there. We've got some grass, um, some gravel and sand, and some wood over here. And it looks like it's going to expand a bit more even down the line. And back here, we have another little exit. That one goes down into the main area, which we'll look at in a little se in a second. And out here is the barn. You've got some directional signs telling you where to go. And yeah, now down in the main house, we've got a, a door here for the bee farm. Oh, probably shouldn't open that. That was a close one. And in here, we have the new zombie farm, which if you're looking at the comment section on episode 7, I believe it was, I forgot to show it in both 7 and 8, but back then it wasn't complete, and now... It is. Right down here, we've got the loot chest and we've got a little bit of a zombie farm. Which is always really nice. Did I just get two potatoes in a row? Yeah, so seems to be pretty efficient. And right over here, we have the week nine map, which has been locked in for good. And right over here, you can see we have the iron height station. But yeah, you can just steadily see. Oh, yeah, there's the new path that's up at the top here. And some more that goes around here. And it's starting to really come together. Oh yeah, and also this line that comes straight through here. And you can really see the progress from week to week, or at or from map to map even, that Hero has been making. As far as I can tell, that's it over here. So let's head over to Fanag's base, get a little checkup over there, and I'm really excited to see what he's been up to. And at first glance, it doesn't look like too much has changed over here this week. There's the start to another one of Fanatic's trees, and it's starting to look pretty good. And over here, I noticed there was something new in the backboard, and that is, of course, this barrel. And there's a book inside. And in the book, it says, Data Point 3.094, Weather 71 degrees. That's pretty warm and humid. Now, this is a little confusing because we're in a cold biome and 71 degrees seems a little bit warm for, what is this called? It is a taiga, as you can see right over here. So that seems kind of problematic for this climate. I'm going to put this right back where I found it and, and I'm just going to continue looking around and see if I can find anything else to show off. First, I thought I he didn't do anything else, but I just noticed sugarcane over here, which 
Don't you have enough sugar cane already? <laughs> yeah, it appears to be about four, maybe five of these floating sugar cane islands. Just a classic sugar cane farm. And they really fit in with this little ocean environment out here in the back. Or in the front, rather. Yeah, and once again, Shadow is still unable to get onto the server due to some technical difficulties. So that seems to be it for this week. And, and I am almost certain that this one's going to be quite short. But without further ado, I'll see you next week. A good, a bye. You zombie, you're not going to get me. Ow! Oh, oh, Why did you hit me? <laughs> Look at that. That looks spectacular. Look at the base. It looks so cool from up here. Looking so cool.